Oi, eu sou a Má, eu já tô aqui na Irlanda há 10 anos e hoje eu convidei alguns dos meus amigos gringos pra provar dadinho de tapioca. Hum, nossa, só de falar me dá muita fome, porque eu amo dadinho de tapioca. Graças ao pessoal da Toca Tapioca House, um restaurante brasileiro aqui de Dublin especializado em pratos com tapioca, a gente pôde dar pros nossos amigos gringos provar um dadinho de tapioca fresquinho, crocante por fora, maciozinho por dentro. Olha, sensacional, tenho que falar pra vocês. Mas vamos ver se meus amigos gringos gostam de dadinho de tapioca tanto quanto eu. Oh, Hello, guys. Bom dia. My name is Vivi. I'm from Greece. And my name is Johnny. And I'm from Dublin. Welcome back. Hi, Ma. How are you? I'm good, amigo. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. And if anyone is following these videos on a regular basis, you will see me get slowly, slowly more bloated with this amazing, amazing food. Try to kill me. That's what it is. It's kill the Irish people gradually. I mean, I don't mind. If you don't come back here, I'll show sure that to you. I like it. I like your methods of persuasion. Yeah, I like you. You're cool. Oh, welcome back. Hello. Hello. Bonjour, bonjour. Comment ça va tout le monde? Tu dis bon? Ça va bien. Who are you? Where are you from? We are in Thunder Road Cafe in Temple Bar, actually. We're trying food from Toca Tapioca and we are from France. Just, just in case. Her name is Potato. <laughs> My name is Jeanne. <laughs> and we are trying dadinho di tapioca. Dandinho, dandinho de tapioca. Dandinho de tapioca? I don't know. <laughs> Vivi had a better go out of there than me. Dadinho de tapioca. That's it. Dadinho. So it's like, what, your father on a tapioca? Your, your dad is on a tapioca? Dandinho. Dadinho de tapioca. Dadinho. Yeah. What's so the da, dadinho? Da, dadinho is a little dice. Dice? Little dice. And tapioca, you know? Oh, like the dice. Yes, yes. So, oh, okay. it's just a play, like a word, the play thing. I, I love this. Yes, a play on words. Oh, my God. Look at this beauty. Please, I need to post this on Instagram, guys. You, follow you want to take a tapioca. You want to take a picture, yes, 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 yes. So, this yeah. is beauty. I must say, it oh. tastes very good. What we tried so far, but it also looks super good, and I think that's very important. So important, especially when your French guys needs to look good, so okay. we love to eat it. And I am totally stealing one. So. Try. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> Just try it. <laughs> you can't eat my father. Don't eat my father. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna steal one right in front of your face. Thanks, Ma. You're such a good friend. You see, Ma steals my food. She's unbelievable. Oh so did, this is like, this is, this is this cassava? Is it fried? It's deep fried. Yep. It's so simple yet so delicious. And it has a sweet and sour sauce. Oh, like it's a, not a sweet and uh, sour, it just, it's just it looks a perfect like it, yeah. combination for okay. the Gino, okay? It's a sweet chili. Sweet, oh, sweet chili, oh. yeah. Oh. Uh, and the tagino. It's just the tapioca flour, hydrated in milk, and halloumi cheese shredded. <laughs> You just you put it in the in the fridge okay. until it settles and okay. it becomes like it's hard. hard. Yeah. So you cut the little dices and you deep fry it. And I'll let okay. you guys decide what it what it Who is going to offer me Brazilian cooking classes? I'll take that in a second. Sorry. This <laughs> is spectacular. You can still see the little balls like I was we had about earlier. to say the same. Yeah. Yes. And you have a sweet chili so sauce there. Yeah. So go with it, which is <laughs> Okay, oh, chili. I, okay, I'll go easy on it. Chili, uh, not really. Okay, it doesn't, yeah. Because I'm sensitive on the spice. It's so cute, like the little cubes like that is really, really cute. Yeah, we can recognize the, the bubbles, yeah. Yeah, the bubbles from and tapioca. It's, it's finger food, so you're welcome to eat it with your hands. Yeah. Okay. I love eating with my hands. I'm gonna try without the sauce to start with. And the texture is great. Crunchy. Yeah. So, you had me at deep fry. Right? I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of like when you don't know where anything is going, you just put like deep fry into everything. Oh, I just deep fry. In Scotland, guys, actually, if, if you're from Brazil, maybe you didn't know this, but in Scotland, they deep fry Mars bars, Mar oh, Mars chocolate. Yeah. They do it here. In Ireland as well. I think, yeah, because I think we, we, we got it from the Scottish. Yeah, not very good for your heart if you have it every day, but, you know, I'm willing to try it. Amigo. Speaking of trying. I'm so happy that you're going to try this now. 
I'm so happy. And you know, it's not really easy to get it right, but here they have the perfect texture. Tonka tapioca have been 100% all the way, and I have every faith that this is going to be the same. Obrigado, Daginho. That's the little sticks, great for like if you want to dip it, you don't want to oh get your, your fingers dirty. A drop of heaven, that is. I love it. It's great, yeah. Absolutely. Great, great with the, chi the chili as well. Oh my god, cheese, fried tapioca. Yum. That's delicious. And the texture in the middle yeah. is really surprising because you you feel the tapioca inside of it, but it's really, you know, it reminds me of what? In La Tour Montparnasse, when he said like the the Quatre-Mas cheese shoes, when he goes like, yeah. <laughs> like the cheese was pure <laughs> in your mouth. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's true that it's soft and crunchy at the same time. It's interesting. And you can feel the bubbles inside. Oh my God. Right? I'm not sure if it's good, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, I've got a cocktail stick and I know how to use it. It reminds me of camembert cheese, very similar to camembert. And Ma is giving me one of those, oh, maybe. <laughs> She's being all like mischievous. I'm oh, sorry, mischievous and devious. Yeah, deep fried camembert. That's what it reminds you of. You do like, you do a deep fried camembert, like bread, in, bread yeah. camembert, deep fried in Ireland, and you eat it with jam. Yes. So that's why I think it's reminds yes. you because you have the sweet chili sauce. That's right. Yeah we, yeah, we have it with jam in Ireland. I don't do it too often, but it is common. And particularly some older, older Irish people, like my mother's generation and my mother, they love things like, you know, marmalade, um, apricot jam, strawberry jam. They love like sweet things in the morning. Yeah. I think it's got to do with, you know, in Brazil, how you guys got so friendly with sugar down through the years that it was all about substance and energy during the day. So I think like older Irish generations did that too. And this thing is gluten free. 100%. That's the crazy thing because you taste it and you think it would have gluten in it, but it doesn't. I can't, no. sorry. I'm going to be the biggest pig on earth today. This food is ridiculously can good. Of course Mama. you can, please. <laughs> I didn't touch this. There you go. You don't want to dip it? Please! Oh my god. Come on. So good. That's a 10. I know you're not asking yet, but... That's a 10. It's super good. It reminds me of something. I'll have to think of. Yep. With the sauce, it brings a little bit of... Um, I don't know. It elevates the taste, kind of. Yeah, because I was about to say, just the... Um, the food itself, after two or three, you must be a bit, um, how can I say that? It would be too much, maybe? But with the sauce, it's kind of, there is a variety of tastes that uh, <laughs> disagree completely. <laughs> yeah, I think I would be, I, I don't want to say fed up, because fed up is a big word, but... Um, kind of? Yeah, I think two or three would be maybe enough for me, but the fact that there is the sauce that kind of give a variety of tastes. <laughs> Just, her, just, <laughs> just her eyes are talking. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. a... Her smile, like we can see. The I love it so much. The cheese inside. My take one before I eat everything. I love, really, really love the texture. You know, just a tiny piece, not a tiny piece, but a little bit of uh, red onion in the middle, just to give that sweetness of the red onions with it. I love onions with cheese. You love onions. <laughs> we all know that. Right <laughs> I think that'd be great. Don't put mushrooms in it. The onions would be great. I'm, I'm, guys, Brazil, I'm really sorry. I'm going to be really, really rude and I'm going to take it off the cocktail stick and eat it like the animal that I am. That's exactly how I did it. Oh, is it? Like the animal that I am. Oh, Jesus. Why does everything have to be a competition, Ma? <laughs> Why do you always have to try and go one level above me? I would have so much fun with this. I could imagine if I was a kid, I'd be trying to make like a Lego house out of these. I'd be, I get this one. Oh no, there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't fail me now, you bastard. Yeah, you live there. That's good. Yeah. I would say, if I was a little baby growing up in Brazil, I would be making a little house out of this. But I'd probably, no, I'm not going to do it today. I'd, I'd pour the sweet chili all down it like, oh, no way. like a chocolate fountain. Wait, 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 wait. Like a chocolate, like a, like a chocolate fountain. Check it out, Brazil. Go, I'm, go I'm, for it. I'm going to try it too. Oh yeah! That's oh, a great yeah. Day. oh yeah! Oh god! We are terrible. We're so more kids. We have no regrets. Absolutely zero regrets. Can I not like say something in, uh, in Portuguese, like uh, something like "Oh, Holy Mary" or something like? That? <laughs> <laughs> How would you say that in, in Portuguese? You, oh, you could go for that merda. Oh, merda! <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. I know. What and merda is. <laughs> you know. Or you could just go for. Oh. 
in every bite, seriously. <laughs> Guys, your food, that's what I like. Especially the Toka tapioca food is, I can't, I, I'm not saying it's healthy, it's clean, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You feel the flavors and um, and you feel, and you, like the taste is so good. Yeah, I, I would I would have thought this would have been very because heavy. It's fried, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not, it's actually mm. quite the opposite. It's actually quite light and tasty and there's a lot of air in there. It's not dense. Too dense. Usually, yeah, because with the fried, um, yeah. that's that's actually very good. Because usually, we've got one more. It's the chili as well. Food. And you guys like chili down in South America. And we love you and for this. Yeah. So, final score? I don't know, a two, maybe a three. <laughs> it's very good, but comparing to what I've tried before, I would give it a nine because I preferred what I had before. But it's still very, very good. Fair enough. Yeah. We do in France apéro dinner it's like you, you meet for drinks. And instead of having a full dinner, you have a lot of bits and bobs to eat. Pechiscus. Pechiscus? Yeah. Para muy bueno. Está bon, está bon. Muy bon. Muy bon. We are a 10, definitely a 10. Love it. Muito obrigada. Delicious. You wanna keep eating? You can keep talking to two of you. I hate you. <laughs> we can leave her alone. It's to, it's you know it's it's toca tapioca, man, isn't it? I mean, it's gonna be ten out of ten. It's absolutely fantastic. I, I love the mixture. The sweet chili sauce is a really good idea, and I think that it complements the fact that the cheese is so thick as well. Yes, I'm burping Brazil. I've had some food. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> so I think the sweet chili sauce is it complements it really really well, and it's cooked to perfection. And if you guys are coming to Dublin, make sure to check the guys out. We're gonna leave links down below. Help the guys out. They're running an amazing business and contributing to Irish life here. And I approve of it as a smelly Irish person. Thank you so much for this. And Toca Tapioca, I mean, we have a fan behind the camera. We have two more in front of the camera. I absolutely adore this. 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10. And thank you for keeping me fed today, Brazil. So guys, uh, what should people do if they want to Volta say Vivi, fed? Volta Vivi, I beg of you. Uh, Volta Johnny. <laughs> he begs of you. <laughs> you think, you know. I mean, this is the reason to get up, you know, on a Sunday and come, you know, out and enjoy, like, follow Toca Tapioca, follow in Dublin, like, don't miss a chance, you know, for this spectacular experience. And get cultured and go and get some Brazilian food. Yes. So what do people do with the potato? They want to see you back. Well, just put some comments below the video and put, um, how do you say? Volta. Volta. Volta potato, Volta Jeanne. And uh, yeah, ask us to come back. We'll be very pleased to try some of your food. Mm. Make sure you are following Toka on Instagram, okay? The links are down below. See this little subtitle? It's right down below. Uh, follow me also on Instagram, talk to Ross, and make sure you follow E Dublin. Share this video with your friends if you had a good time today. Um, and my friends as well, Volta Gringos and Volta Ross. I'm Ross. Take care. Enjoy your Sunday. E aí, o que, que vocês acharam? Curtiram a reação dos gringos? Se você estiver aqui por Dublin ou pela Irlanda, não esquece de passar lá na Toca Tapioca House, porque eles têm pratos incríveis e deliciosos, como vocês já têm visto aqui no canal. Sigam eles também lá no Instagram para conferir as outras delícias que eles servem no restaurante, que inclusive foi reformado recentemente. E também segue o e Dublin lá nas redes sociais para acompanhar tudo que a gente posta sobre vida na Irlanda, intercâmbio, carreira no exterior e muito, muito mais. Então a gente se vê no próximo vídeo. Um beijinho enorme. Tchau!